So look, every time I update one of my apps, in particular Samsung apps, on my Galaxy Watch 4, it does give me sort of an idea what we can expect for the upcoming Galaxy Watch 5. Like yesterday, I did update my music app for the Galaxy Watch 4, but what is interesting here when I was doing it, I was reading the notes associated with this particular update. Like here, it says supported devices, Galaxy Watch model after Galaxy Watch 4 series. And whilst this in itself is not too revealing, it still mentions the presence of, yes, you guessed it, the presence of the physical rotating bezel. I know, hang on, I understand there are so many rumors with regards to the rotating bezel in conjunction with the Galaxy Watch 5 and, or shall I say, allegedly missing rotating bezel. And many people are not happy with this, including myself. Now, here's the thing though, from a company's point of view, like Samsung's perspective, the Galaxy Watch 4 is really the only watch that has invigorated Wear OS and is the best selling Wear OS watch. And uh, I can tell you no Pixel watch, the upcoming Pixel watch will take that away. And I am very certain about that after seeing what Google has in store for their Pixel watch for us. And look, at this point right now, it's kind of Samsung or Apple. Okay, okay, I hear you. There are many more out there we can consider. And that, that is true. What I'm trying to get here is I'm talking about the entire integration. I'm talking about the entire ecosystem, like laptop, like phone, like tablet, and everything combined with your smartwatch. What we do know now is the different color options because they just literally have been revealed. Yes, as expected, the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro model will not go overboard in terms of color and will throw a pink color on you. It will come in black or gray titanium and it does make sense for a Pro model. As for the regular Galaxy Watch 5 version, Samsung will offer both graphite and silver However, pink gold is exclusive to the small version and sapphire is exclusive to the large version. So it's going to be your pick here. Of course, there's more, not just color. We know that fast charging has also been approved just now for the Galaxy Watch 5. And we do have a bigger battery included, I think in the Pro model and maybe other models, but we also have an upcoming temperature sensor included in the Galaxy Watch 5. At this point, I'm not entirely sure the Galaxy Watch 5 is really the upgrade we should be going for. But one thing, one thing is for sure. Once the Galaxy Watch 5 comes out in August, August this year, we, I, will have every single version of the Galaxy Watch 5 and we will test the heck out of it and let you know the results.